talk too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hate. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins when they got it all record off record. I the Ace of Predator Helios 300 is the best bang for buck gaming laptop you can buy in 2019. Period. With an i7 9 Gen 9750 h Coffee Lake processor, mated to a very powerful 1660 Ti NVIDIA GPU and an excellent cooling system which keeps the heat at bay, it's money well spent. Not to mention that it comes with a 144Hz full HD IPS display with a response rate of 3 milliseconds. At this price point, this keeps getting better and better. First off, you'll notice that the build quality is rock solid and the fit and finish does feel premium. You'll find bits of metal here and there. The screen is a 17.3 inch IPS panel and is gorgeous to look at. The keyboard doesn't feel mushy and is good to type at. The trackpad is made from a plastic layer and does support all the Windows 10 gestures. On the left side, we have a Kenningston lock slot, ventilation, power jack, battery indicator, power indicator, Ethernet port, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, and a headphone mic combo jack. On the right, we have a USB Type C port which does not have Thunderbolt support, another 3.1 Gen 2 port, a mini display port, and an HDMI 2.0 port with ventilation outlets besides that. The base doesn't lift off when you open the lid. This translates into a seamless experience while opening up the lid. Here are the hardware specs from CPU-Z. The expansion options are quite good. Since I don't want to void my warranty, I'm not going to open the back. However, let me explain where the expansion slots are located roughly. At the top, we have the cooling fan intakes. At the middle are the RAM slots. This is where the Hynix 256GB NVMe SSD is located on which the OS is installed. Here is an empty M.2 NVMe slot which you can upgrade. Here is the 3.5 inch 1TB SATA drive and next to it is the battery. So due to this layout, the battery size is a bit smaller. On flipkart.com, the price during the time of this recording was around 1 lakh 15,000 rupees. However, I got it for 85,000 rupees on sale, which is a steal deal for this type of hardware. The temperatures on this thing are pretty impressive too. Under loads, the highest I could achieve was around 75 to 80 degrees Celsius. There's this turbo button which when activated brings down the temperatures significantly. However, there's a catch. Listen to this. Let's see some benchmarks. Cinebench 20 benchmark test gave a score of about 1624 which means you can also use this laptop for rendering purposes. The 1660 Ti GPU can handle any AAA game with ease. Apex Legends gave a modest 90 to 100 FPS on high settings with anti-aliasing turned off. Tomb Raider runs at about 65 FPS on a high preset. PUBG averages at about 60 to 70 FPS on high settings. And finally, Doom comfortably ran at 100 FPS consistently with no hiccups. So this laptop seems to be a great deal as of now. It was surely worth the hype. The closest competitor is the Lenovo Y540, which has almost the exact same set of hardware. It all boils down to the design and which laptop schools better. Most of the gamers mistakenly classifies gaming laptops as desktop replacements, which they are not. And this is purely my opinion, yours might differ. It's simple really. If you use a laptop as if it were a desktop, that is, 
keeping it all on the time and pushing it to its limits constantly, you will start to see its performance dip by the end of the year. A lot of factors play a role in this like no adequate cooling, dust build up and hence the heat dissipation decreases significantly and the hardware starts to downclock. Hence, you should always look for a laptop with a great cooling solution which I think Acer has nailed it with the Helios 300. So that's about it. Thumbs up if you liked it, share the video and get subscribed for more content. This is Freeman signing out, I'll see you in the next one.